What's up guys, this is Rajo back with another video. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing, first impressions, and brief setup of my new Steam Deck 512 gigabyte model. As you can see here in the box, it says it right there, 512 gigabyte Steam Deck. And I also have 512 gigabyte SD card from Samsung, it's a 512 Evo Select. So let's get into this unboxing. I got this a couple weeks ago, came in the mail. I ordered it last year, I guess the second, couple days after it went live for ordering. And it came in two weeks ago, but I've been very busy with work and other stuff. So I haven't gotten a chance to unbox it and film it. So now's the time. Let's get into it. Okay, I think that's all I'll need the knife for. Plain brown box, so nobody will know what it'll it's in it, except for this little label right here. Oh, let's see what we got here. And it's got all this stuff on it. I guess places you can play it. It says on the patio, on the toilet, on the subway, on a Ferris wheel. And it's I have it in Spanish and I'm sure other languages. In a test chamber. In a hammock. Not oh, pretty cool. So first we greet it with this card. It says attention. Plug in, then hit the power on button and you turn it over to the other side you get a brief uh, overlay of what the uh, steam deck looks like all right enough of that what do we have here now we have the box and you can see it says your games are going places all right let's put this aside and this is probably the power brick i'm thinking Nothing else in the box. Pretty basic. Put that to the side. Uh, oh, I will need my knife. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, you have your wall adapter and it's a USB type C. And there's some information here. Let's see, what is this? Health and safety maintenance. Okay, that's been read. Put that to the side. Now let's get on to the main thing here. Plastic. Alright. Let me just slide it out. It's got perforated stuff. You could probably rip it like that. But it's easy enough just to slide it. Okay. Steam logo here. Back there's a little bungee uh, strap and a little pouch. It's probably you can put your wall adapter in there and store it back here when you're traveling. There is a valve label here and it is locked. Just when I'm thinking I'm done with my knife. the knife again to open up my SD card micro SD all right so we got that and let's open this bad boy up oh. oh this is nice this is nice you got it 
the 512 gigabyte Steam Deck. It's got the anti glare screen. Huh, it's, everybody online says it's, it is big compared to the Switch, which I have the Switch and the Switch Lite, but it's not heavy at all. And uh, let me spin around, check you. You got the R4, R5, L4, L5 buttons. You got your L1, L2, R1, R2 buttons. You got your thumb pads there. The left stick, the right stick. Dedicate steam button. Here's your touchpad. It's not clicky, but you can feel the press a little when you press down on it. It's like a mouse pad. Move your fingers around. This looks like a, probably a menu button here. Bring it closer. You got your Y, B, A, and X button. Speaker grills here. This slot here would be where your micro SD card goes in. And you have your vents here. And it says valve back. All right, let me put this aside. What do you have else? And it looks like you have a Steam Deck labeled microfiber cloth. So now let's look at the case. It is nice hard. It's got a little cushion in it. And it is specifically for the Steam Deck. You can see the cutouts and the pattern. So when you close it, your thumbsticks don't get damaged. It'll just close up like so. Put your wall brick, like I said before, into this pouch. Put it on the back. Stick it back here. Nice, got a nice little handle. All right, so what I'm gonna do is plug it in, like they say to do, and turn it on. And then get my micro SD card out and show you me inserting it into that. So I'll be right back. Okay, back, I have it plugged in. As you can see, the Steam uh, Deck symbol. It is booting up. I'll leave it right here on the table. And I just opened up Compartment for my micro SD card. Okay, so now it'll be the initial setup. It's asking me what language? English, of course. I believe you probably hit the A button. My time zone. I am in New York, so Eastern Standard Time. And my network, which I will do off camera. Okay, so it should be okay. Now it says uh, connected successfully to my network. Uh, I guess it's going to be. Installing Steam OS and all that good stuff. Uh, also, I neglected to show you the top of it with the volume buttons. There's minus plus is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You have some more ventilation there and an LED right next to the USB type C port for charging and your power button right there. Bring it a little closer, you check all that out right there. As you can see, I have my light and it's not, I'm sorry, hopefully I'm not blinding anybody, but you can see with this anti-glare screen, it's a little blurry. It's not like a mirror, so that's pretty cool. Very, very nice. Okay, I'll put it down, let it install its stuff. While it's doing that, Take my 
512 gig micro SD card and insert it to the SD, micro SD card slot. It clicks in and I'll be back once it's installed everything. Okay, we're back. I've got my Steam library, not the whole library loaded on here, but the OS is loaded. And as you can see here, I have certain games from my library. Some of these aren't listed uh, as verified for the Steam Deck. I didn't know that, but uh, I'm going to go into uh, this game. I'm going to do a dedicated video on. But let's see what we can show you right now. Oh, we can do, uh, let's see. Shredder's Revenge real quick. It's a quick game on that. Um, I've been messing around with this off screen and this is uh, pretty cool. I, I like it so far. Uh, as you can see here, I have the little info showing. And you can go down. right here and it show you what level that you uh, let's go back right here now if I put it to just off you won't see any frame rate counter right now it's 60 frames per second here you have a little more which I like I'm on two it tells you what the graphic engine is so it's using the Vulcan Emulated, so it has the battery, the CPU usage, GPU usage, and some other stats here. Take that off the screen. Let me turn the volume up on this. Screen looks nice and crisp. This is a fun game. Just get it some action real quick. I'm not gonna make this video long. Just show you a little bit of gameplay on this. Skip all this. I know this is also available on the PlayStation, Xbox, and the Switch, but for this particular handheld, this is cool. And I know a game like this is not really going to test the graphical and prowls of uh, this device, but it's still cool nonetheless. Okay guys, before I wrap up this video, I want to do a comparison of the new Steam Deck with the OG Nintendo Switch and the slightly newer Switch Lite. 
So as you can see right here on the table, the size comparison, right? I'm gonna move this switch light to the side and we'll just focus right now on the Steam Deck and the switch. You can see the size difference on the screen is slightly bigger on the deck and the controls you can see how much wider it is and it's funny because when i used to just play with this switch and i you know for long periods of time i would think wow this seems kind of uh, cumbersome it's like big a little like getting fatigue holding it trying to play and then when i got the switch light i was like oh this is small this is portable it's, it's compact more enjoyable so i really enjoyed using this but going to this bad boy this steam deck this thing is huge but it's funny that it's comfortable even though it's a lot wider as you can see than the switch which i had fatigue playing long periods of time this is very comfortable even though it's much wider but in the footprint but the screen's bigger, it's it's light, it's comfortable, the controls are right where it needs to be, you know. It's, it's very comfortable. I mean, I haven't played for hours on this yet, so I might get fatigued, who knows? That'll be for a later video, uh, like a three month or six month review of this bad boy, and I'll let you know about it. But right now, it's not bad. I like it, it's, I know everybody was saying how large it was and it might be comfortable but for my hands it's no problem at all so again let me just put this side by well not side by side right there you can see the size comparison and i'm gonna end this video on this note so if you found this video useful please smash that like button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel consider subscribing to the channel share the video Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have the Steam Deck already or if you're waiting to get yours. And if so, which version do you have? Do you have the 64 gigabyte one, 256 gig, or like me, the 512 gigabyte? What are your pros and cons on this? Let's leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation regarding this. And as I said before, my next video on the Steam Deck will be the accessories that I have. I'm going to be applying the tempered glass screen protector on it. And I have two cases to from JSOX to uh, showcase um, on this. And then uh, and I think I will do a dedicated video on this game. This is pretty cool. Midnight Fight Express. So I'll do a solo video just dedicated to that on the Steam Deck. So stay tuned for that. As always, I appreciate you spending your time with me on this video. And I will see everyone in the next video. Peace.